welcome, 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 all you lovers of horror, sci-fi, and fantasy. We are here yet again for another thrilling, exciting installment of uh, Fear and Fascination, Horror, Sci-Fi, and Fantasy Unleashed, where we delve into those subject matters that sometimes can make you go, ah, and good, so, you know, those things that make bump in the night, you know what I mean? Scary shit. <laughs> anyway, you can find us anywhere that podcasts are broadcast. You can find us on Spreaker. You can find us on Spotify. We are on Twitch. We are on YouTube, YouTube Music. We're on iHeartRadio, Amazon Music. Uh, we're on uh, Amazon Podcasts, all kinds of places. So go check us out. Like, share, subscribe, and follow. But most importantly, share, especially the artists that we interview every week. They, we're here to, you know, help them to get the exposure out there for their craft, whether it be an actor, a producer, a director, a screenwriter, uh, an author, anything that delves into those subject matters of horror, sci-fi, and fantasy. Uh, so we're here for another exciting journey. So I am your hostess with the mostest, Jennifer DeVoe Muse, and we're here to thrill and excite you. So hopefully you're going to be excited. <laughs> I know you will. Who's kidding? Uh, we're going to bring on the, the sultry songstress, Amy Bowman. Hello, everyone. Hello, How's fellow lover of horror, sci-fi, and fantasy. Gotta love. Out of those three, what would you say was your favorite genre? Horror. Uh, I, I more than likely like horror. It scares the crap out of me every time I watch it. I'm like this, but I still do it, like a ding dong. I know, because it's the it's the excitement. It it's is. the thrill of it. It's the, you know yeah. what I mean? So, it's like, a lot of people don't realize that. Yep. Yes. And it delves into your inner fears, your inner demons, your, you know, yeah. helps you, you know, sometimes, like, work shit out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, here we're going to, uh, next we're going to bring on the Mac Daddy of Metal, Shyler Staber. <laughs> what a fellow of horror, sci-fi, and fantasy. Of those three genres, what would you say your favorite is? I don't know, because I'm a fucking nerd. So, like, I mean, it goes from, like, Star Wars to Lord of the Rings to anything right. scary from Del Toro to anything. I, I, I don't know. It's hard to pick a one, but if I'm going to have to say, I'll yeah. probably go for it. Cool. I, I, I think I dive into horror a lot more. Like, I watch horror just for fun, so probably horror. Right? I mean, That's I what I'm saying. When it comes to video games, it's a whole different ball game. Like, <laughs> I, I, I I tell people all the time be be careful because my favorite genre for everything is horror. Books, mm -hmm. movies, television, uh all of it. Like all of yeah. it. And sometimes it's a cross pollination of like you know like exactly. fantasy and horror together. You know what I mean? Right. It's not always yeah. just straight out of horror. Like supernatural deals with different realms they even talk about like aliens and shit like that which is technically sci-fi so they kind of delve into all three <laughs> worlds which is why it's my favorite television show of all time oh yeah plus it doesn't hurt that, that the awesome. two really hot motherfuckers on that show that are brothers and right. who wouldn't want to have a sandwich with that right i didn't say that what um, is sam and dean i, I come Winchesters, anyway, but <laughs> that's just a bonus, god damn it. It's just a fucking bonus. Uh, <laughs> hot dudes in an awesome car, uh, killing shit, uh, that goes bump in the night and helping people. I'm down for it. I am totally fucking yeah. down for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm an Ash boy, like Ash, Ash will always be my that's, that's daddy. Ash will always be daddy. Ash versus Evil Dead every day, all day. Oh Bruce my God! Campbell I is fucking up. love the Evil Dead series. Jesus Christ! Bruce I want to interview him someday. So let's get this done. I'm gonna say let's do it. Oh, no. Let's interview fucking Bruce Campbell. I'm saying. I'm I saying know. That. Let's do it. Oh my God! I'm a well, that'd be awesome. I'm just saying, like that's badass. But my favorite will always be the Saw series. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. 
Tobin Dude, Bell, it's oh. creepy as fuck. I mean, think about how intelligent you have to be to build those traps. I mean, Jesus That's true. Jesus Christ. I like, I'm all with Annabelle. You know what I mean? And, and like yeah. the planning and the meticulousness and the. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, yeah, Annabelle. Okay. I got you. you know, creepy dolls, yeah. everything. Yeah. Dolls, yeah. I mean, it's a fucking doll. I know. Creepy. Fucking oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like I don't like porcelain dolls. I, porcelain <laughs> fucks me so bad. Porcelain scares the shit out of me. So like, and an animal like, even worse. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. right. And the original that's doll. The original that's the original what, what, what was it? What was that's it? Like, why is that fucking thing in the corner? Yeah, it wasn't even scary. Like they made the new one look scarier than the original. Oh yeah, I know. It's like Woo. no, 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 no. Nope, gonna pass. I say for TV, I love um, TV. For TV, I would say I love American Horror Story. Oh, yeah. American Horror Story is great. It's a really good show as far as horror goes. The last couple seasons. Mm, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, see, uh, I it had me up to that. season nine. Yeah. Maybe ten. Not, but up to nine, I was I was okay. You know, yeah. Except for when that one know. where they went to fucking Roanoke. That one was kind of... That. We what just was that season that like five or some shit? I wasn't. Mm -hmm. you no, know, season six. Sorry, season six. Yeah. I wasn't as yeah. into it, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, but we are going to bring on our featured guest this evening, none hey. other than Bill Victor Arukan, because you can Aru can. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Jen, you know, Amy, Skyler, for having me on your show. Oh, Thank you welcome. For being here. Anytime, welcome. Anytime. You, are, you man, guys I love are a trip. <laughs> just look, just feel free to be yourself. If you want to swear, <laughs> fucking swear, just be yourself, have a good time. Could you be know crazy. I, mean? you I don't know. Like, you don't have to. I'm just saying, if you want to, you can. You know, whatever. Um, but we're also kind of raunchy and filthy, so it's okay. You know, we're we're good. Uh, blue humor is accepted here. Um, <laughs> that's the in Hollywood, right? Blue humor. I mean, even like comedy skit, like when you do a comedy on like stage and shit, it's all it's all blue Horror. humor. If you're going that, if you're going there, right? So I, like I love. I love I met I met Bill originally uh, through James Balsamo, and I I met him. I did I interviewed James, and you know what I mean we just interviewed James last week, right? That's so cool. So, that was so cool. Uh, that's what I'm saying. And I, I love him, and I love his movies and his like just craziness and some of the stuff. He, I met him because because Bill came up with an amazing idea. I'm pretty sure it was mostly you, right? The alien danger with Raven, Raven Van Slender. I heard that well, I you kind of like, it was your concept for the part. No, I know, but like <laughs> a good, the, the initial like idea, I think had, I was told that it was yours. Like James said that even. Yeah, I, I, James allowed me to be crazy creative and like, oh my God, a director is going to let me be crazy creative. I, I'm on board. That's awesome. That's oh, super yeah. cool. And it yeah. was, Great. We did the red carpet movie premiere. I laughed so fucking hard. We were at the TCL Chinese theaters in Hollywood and I laughed so hard. I just, the craziness of it. And he had this character, Bill played this character. It was the bad guy, like the evil emperor type guy. And he reminded me so much of that character Ming in um, fucking like, Flash was Gordon. it? Um, Yes, Flash Gordon, but from that movie from like the late seventies, early eighties, or whatever. Like Flash, you know, the, the Queen soundtrack, Flash. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew that character so much reminded me of that type of thing. I was laughing so hard. I was like, no shit. That was my favorite character to play on the Alien Danger uh, sci-fi films. And you can tell. You can tell you thoroughly enjoyed what you were doing. You just seemed like you were having so much fun and just like, you know, letting loose with it. And and that was awesome to see. And that's the one thing I loved about the James Balsamo films. You have so much fun on set with so many cool folks. It's like, wow, this is really cool. 
Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. That's did really you write good. the? Cool. Would you say you wrote like? Did you write the like a screenplay or like have a general outline of what you wanted to do or? Yeah, yeah. So for the three Alien Danger films, uh, we met like every month. Uh, with the the okay. three of us, James, Seth, and myself, and we wrote down all right. our ideas and. And I said, these are the scenes I want. These are the uh, okay. the things I want. And we all made it all fit in. I'm like, oh, my God, it's going to happen. Nice. Oh. That was awesome. I bet that was crazy to film, too. Like, some of that shit, like, some of the characters these guys were playing. Like, your characters. And then, because he played, because Bill played more than one character in the movie. Which, which is was so awesome. Wow. I know. Uh, what, so, what were the names of the characters so people will know? So uh, Raven Van Slender, I play the right. uh, hero. Uh, right. So he, he's like the scientific genius. And then I play his opposite, which is the evil overlord Anil, which is uh, inspired by uh, Ming. And yes, the, I love it. His, his, uh, his big thing is his laugh. And it's, I will laugh yes. for like minutes. And J James just goes, keep laughing. I'm like, oh my God, it's like one minute, two minute, three minute. Just keep laughing. Just keep laughing. This is all good. <laughs> and, and uh, yeah. Dude, the, the stop, the stop. It. Stop animation. It was a crit. It's so funny. <laughs> that crazy shit you guys were doing with the, like, the, the little, like, puppets or whatever you want to call them i don't know but it was hilarious like it was just it's like classic 80s you know the spaceship ever. has like a little string on it you're like oh 80s movies yes yes yeah <laughs> reminded me like mystery science theater 3000 type shit you know what yeah. i mean like that <laughs> and, and, and james let me have all my favorite wrestlers uh, that he got as cast people in the film. How cool is oh, right. that? Oh, like Al Burke. Al Burke. Al Burke. And, yeah. Powers of Pain. Oh, my. Uh, Kurt oh, Angle my did like a cameo. Uh, oh, right. Right. Victoria did, did uh, Raven Van Slender Saves Christmas. It was like, oh, my God. How cool is that? Oh, right. I put Tommy Chong and Rob Halford from <laughs> Judas Priest were in that movie. It was awesome. Yeah. I was like, fucking Tommy Chong with the fucking e the alien ears. <laughs> <laughs> and don't make it blend in. Just make it look like you kind of have fake ears on, which is hilarious. <laughs> it did. It did, too. It looked so fake. Like, you just knew those were not real ears. <laughs> Tommy's sitting there going, save us, Raven Van Slender. <laughs> and Bill was like, and then James got characters that I like to play with uh, from Star Trek. So he knew I love Star Trek. So he got people from Star Trek right. to come in and do cameos. And oh, right. Oh. Hey, right. Tracy Coco. Shout out to Tracy Coco. Tracy Coco. <laughs> my, my pal, Tracy Coco. Uh, Sean Kenny. Yeah, she's such a good person. I love her. Yeah, she's so nice. Right. Uh, Sean, Sean Kenny, who uh, um, Captain Pike in the original uh, series. Oh, right. Holy shit. I forgot about that. Oh, my God. That's nuts. Yeah. That is nuts. It was like a star-studded event. It was just really crazy. Yeah. It was cool. I even had the Jawas in in the movie. Oh, yes. Right. I forgot about we that. We had three Jawas in, in the movie. Like, oh, my God, from Star Wars. That was so cool. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I was like, what the fuck is this? I, the movie was made for people who have like uh, attention deficit syndrome or something, you know, because it's like <laughs> two minute stories put together. I'm like, oh my God, what the hell did I just watch? We're sitting there going, oh, what did I just watch? Was this the fucking script? Al Burke. Fucking, fucking Al Burke and how they had him fucking all painted and shit. He was an oh, alien. God. You remember? His Amy and I interviewed Al Burke a few weeks back. A few weeks back. Yeah, so that's why we were laughing because we were like, you know, you get a picture of him as like an alien and shit. And like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what character was he again, uh, Bill? Oh, I think Bill. I think Bill froze. It was. 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, he was a cow- cowboy with six hands called Mog the Meeker. Yes, that's what it was. Oh, yeah. He, he had multiple characters. He then played some king. <laughs> oh, right, he did. I forgot about that. He was a king. Yes. And then he had another character that we, he played. I can't remember that, too. But it's so cool. You have so <laughs> many characters that you're like, I just saw you. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, and then uh, my buddy, Ozzy Capri. I fucking Ozzie. love Ozzy. Hell yeah. And G. Larry Butler. I fucking love G. Larry Butler. Oh my gosh. We interviewed him a few weeks back too. Yeah. Did you know he's he's my mentor? He he's a, he has really? always helped me through all my acting and my coaching. Wow. And he's quite my inspiration. He's helped me through my career. And he's like the nicest guy. Yeah. He is. He's super nice. He's one of the sweetest people ever. I really love Larry. Shout I out love to G. Larry Butler. And, wow. and Al Burke. <laughs> yeah, improv with G. Larry. We have such good chemistry. I think my first scene was actually with It Wants Blood. That was my first time working with uh, G. Larry. Right. And that was actually my first real uh, horror film with James was uh, It Wants Blood. Oh, nice. Oh. So, so tell us more about that movie. I mean, I know about Alien, you know, Alien Danger, Raven Van Slender, but you know, but let's. I like to uh, talk about your other projects too, of course. What now? What was it? Wants blood. What was that more about? Like vampires, or what was it? No, no, it's a political movie. Uh, Eric Roberts played this evil uh, senator running for re-election, and no one could stop him. And then. Oh, shit. James brought me on as a Southern Asian gentleman to, to go <laughs> nice. up against Robert, uh, 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 Eric Roberts. And so we, nice. we clashed together, but the difference is we both have monsters. Okay, I got oh. you. Okay. Yeah. That's so Eric Roberts' monsters uh, will go out and kill people and draw the energy to him. Oh, no and then way. for me... I save a monster and he becomes my pet. Oh, okay. I like it. But, you know, politicians are politicians and it's kind of like, am I really the good guy? Am I really the bad guy? Because you can't tell because I'm a politician. Right. Great so point. It was, it was politics, horror, you know, James, blood, boobs, and uh, Beast. <laughs> He's always got boobs somewhere in his movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was a fun movie to shoot. And I think I was the last component because he said something is missing with It Wants Blood because he did it with uh, with Eric. He goes, Eric needs a, an opponent. And then he said, you're going to okay. play the politi- uh, politician who opposes Eric. Oh, nice. So nice. that's how I got it. I like it. Blood. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know you've won a ton of awards around the world for Alien Danger or Raven Van Slender. One, Which like is one crazy. And two. Yeah. It is. I keep seeing all these awards, like just all these different like film fucking festivals and, yeah. and just all these things. And I'm like, Dan, he's killing it. These guys are killing it. Like they're award- right. winning awards all over the world, like everywhere. Right. I was like, oh my God. So I just get like, like, share, share, like, like, <laughs> share. I, it's like a true <laughs> surprise and a blessing. I'm like, who the hell gave me a best actor award? <laughs> I'm like, and it, it's just so fun that you know, a small venue, like a film festival, will actually watch yeah. my stuff and said, oh my mm. God, he's actually, this is a good film, which is kind of cool. It's hilarious. But yeah, it, it's, it's sweeping through Asia like crazy. It was playing on oh, like wow. uh, in the Philippines for three months. Hong oh, Kong wow. loves Raven Van Slender. Like, oh my God. It's, it's, at, Holy an, shit. it's at an a- anime convention uh, showing Raven Van Slender. And oh, I think it's in Japan crazy. next month. Oh, that's fucking awesome, dude. That's crazy. I'm so proud that's of you guys. Crazy. I am so congratulations. Thanks. I am so proud of you guys for, for what you've achieved. I, I wanted to see the second movie, so I went to the Red Carpet movie premiere for the second one at TCL, but then they ended up playing the first one by accident, and and then we were all laughing because we were like, I said, I 
he whispered to the husband and I was like, I, th I think we haven't we already seen this one? This looks really fucking familiar, dude. And we we're like, or maybe we're just that high. Because uh, we smoke a lot of weed. Like, maybe we're just that high that we don't realize that this <laughs> is another movie. And I'm like, already. I kind of found it was the first one. They played by yeah. accident again. I'm like, check it. And then they had the new art theater when they relaunched to do the second one. But yeah. I wasn't able to make that one. So I still need to go see the second one. And I need yeah. to see Christmas either. Raven Van Slender saves Christmas. So I want to go see that too. I've done two Christmas films already. I've done really? that one. Oh, okay. And a, and a horror one. It's called The Last okay. Sleigh Ride. And uh, that one, Ooh, I think what's... you'd like that one because I play a crooked film distributor. That's also a vampire. Oh, ah. that would be badass. So I'm stealing yeah. everybody's work. I'm stealing everyone's money. And then all the independent filmmakers like gang up and try to kill me. But I'm a vampire. <laughs> oh, nice. The fucking shit. That's Great. badass. Surprises on yeah. them. <laughs> They're going to be like, oh, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> I want to suck your blood. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. What was my character's name? Oh, Max Rampage was my. Oh, name. okay. I saw that on your on your stuff, yeah. on your page and stuff. I was like, oh, okay, Max Rampage. That's a badass name. Yeah, yeah. that's a badass name. To be honest, he really is. Especially for a vampire. I mean, seriously, yeah. Rampage. I mean, come on. Come that's on. some badass shit. Who yeah. who made that movie? Who, who was uh, the like the director or, or whatever you want to call it? The writer director was uh oh my god he's gonna kill me if <laughs> it's uh I have to go Google it but it, he's up in the oh yeah Seattle <laughs> Oregon area and uh, okay I have to Google it oh my god I got you. ah. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, you can Google it right now. Why not? That's uh, <laughs> why I do shit like that all the time. Be like looking stuff up while we're during a broadcast. You see me looking down, going like this. <laughs> I'm like Jason looking Hawkins. shit up. Jason Jason. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Nice. Okay. How long did it take to like I you know, and I've been in the world of TV and movies, so I know how long it takes to film a lot of shit. Do you know what I mean? Cause I, I've yeah. done a lot of background actor stuff. I was on set. It was my daughter's manager when she was a background actor. I got her into a lot of shit. She was on American horror story, things like that. So like, it's about, you know, being on set, being on time, doing what we need to do. But sometimes like one episode took eight fucking days to film eight days. Yeah. Wow. I was like, that's fucking nuts. That's what I'm saying. People don't realize how much it takes right. to produce a film, to film it, to get a budget, to pre-production, post-production. There's so much shit that goes in. The score, you got to put yep. the music to it. You got to like, there's so much to it. People don't write. And then somebody's got to put the credits in. And then somebody's got like, there's just, it takes so much to just make one episode of a show yeah. or to make and a movie. And it's you know independent I mean? independent film or TV. Like that, that takes even longer in a bigger budget. Because like, oh my gosh. Right. Very true. Very I mean, true. A, we don't a have lot that of backing stuff, and support. A lot of stuff that I filmed uh in mm. 2019 are just mm. now coming to, to distribution. Like They're fucking staycation. staycation. I've only been waiting forever for staycation to come out. I know. I mean, like, god damn it, when is staycation coming out? We're working on it. So our press nice. release is done. I think we'll be done by uh, August. And I think we're shooting for a premiere and I'm crossing my fingers before October. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I think uh, I think my buddy Derek Webb is in that. Yeah. yeah. Somewhere. We had a lot uh, of folks something. in that one. Yeah. He's, he lives in New Hampshire. That's the crazy fucking thing. He actually lives in New Hampshire. He's never been to Cali. He never went out there to film nothing. And I'm like, how are you getting all these fucking roles and movies and shit? And you never leave New Hampshire. I'm just laughing. So I'm like, are you fucking shitting me? He's like, I want to come live in Hollywood and in Los Angeles. I said, no, you don't. No, no you don't. 
Um, well, because he's got kids and a wife, and it's just it's a lot. Like people yeah. people see what they want to see when they when they look at Hollywood. They if you're from if you're not from there, right? You're from some rural area of a town of like I'm from Maine, where I am right now, and and I have you know like a lot of friends like that are in New Hampshire or you know Connecticut or other things like that. You can be in the business, but like don't just think oh. Hollywood and there's stars in your eyes and yeah. then you get out there yeah. there's bums everywhere begging for money there's trash on the street it's, oh just, it's not what you think it is okay right. not, I mean, not 1960 just, all over again nope. yeah. yeah it's like dude it, yeah it's a great industry to work in I love it I love being in the movies and TVs. I love my my radio and TV show stuff. I love I love everything I do. I was a concert promoter and booking agent. I was artist management. I've done almost everything in the industry when it comes to like music or movies or TV. I've managed art. I've managed our uh, authors and actors, including Derek Webb. <laughs> so this is how I know he's in some shit because I'm his manager. God damn it! And <laughs> you need to tell your fucking manager what the fuck you're doing. Uh, <laughs> everyone, everyone in Hollywood works so hard. I mean, only people only see the one percent of the successful people. But yes, and all you think is oh, it's work. It's like a big team or something. Wow. Yeah, and then they it's get out there, work. and then like you know, stars aren't what they think they are. Like they think that everybody's perfect and all pristine, like you see in the movies. It's it's not always like that. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, we knew we knew Seth Benzer, let you know, Shifty from fucking Crazy Town. And I worked with him, and I interviewed them, and then he just died of a drug overdose. You see what I'm saying? So it's not always as as pretty and tied up with a bow as you fucking think it is. Yep, yep. Yep. That's so, true. So, I mean, uh, what would you say your favorite genre, Bill, has been to work in so far? But You know, especially between, like, sci-fi horror or fantasy. You know, I, I was never a horror film person, okay. fan. Okay. Uh, I start. I started out at sci-fi. So Star Trek okay. was my starter thing. I I love right. the aliens. I love right. doing cosplay with the aliens. And then nice. uh, some of the directors said, "Hey, why don't you be part of our film?" And it just happened to be okay. horror. I'm like, "Okay, the door opened. I'm gonna take the door." Right. Yeah. Might as well. Right. And then you know James came along. The Mahals came along, and it was all horror films. Hmm. Uh, right until uh james said well i want to do a kid-friendly one like are, are you kidding me <laughs> so i got to do all of it i got to do the horror and the sci-fi and the kid-friendly mm -hmm. one nice that's, that's how bad it is yeah that's so cool. is so you you said you do cosplay which i read already um star trek you would uh, dress up as some of the characters what's the favorite one that you uh dressed up as what's your favorite please say cleon that's what i've pretty much done all the aliens and Klingon yeah. is my my oh, wow. easiest one to do just put the eyebrows up there i got the goatee just put the yeah. the costume on it's a it's a natural oh, that's How badass many conventions have you done where you've dressed up like that i all of them so andorian with the blue face mm -hmm. uh, right I was Tosk, so some Deep Space Nine. Uh, I, I I had the prosthetic mask on for Tosk, and that was one of them. I, I won uh, first place at the Star Trek Las Vegas convention for Tosk. Wow! Wow! And then I was Linus, which is another alien from Star Trek Discovery. And then okay. uh, uh, Michael Whitmore said that is an amazing prosthetic, and he oh, voted wow. for me. And I won a, my second, uh, my second uh, Star Trek Las Vegas costume contest. That's so, amazing. And that triggered other people say, "Hey, you know, I think we should have asked this guy to be part of our movie, or just be part of the crew." And, and that's kind yeah. of how the ball got rolling. Yeah. That, that's. Now, are that's you doing your, awesome. your own makeup? Are you doing your own makeup and everything? You're doing it yourself. It's kind of a, I have professionals helping me, but then I'll I'll do it myself when I want to be more creative. It all depends on what's going no, on. Each each year no it gets a little different. And I always I've always tried to do as many as I can. I think I've had up to 50 different costumes that I've done. Oh wow, wow. that's amazing. That's I'm cool. I'm running, I'm running out. 
<laughs> yeah, I gotta make more characters. He's running out of ideas. <laughs> I've done a fer- I've done Ferengi, so I I was a Ferengi with a gold. Oh theme. no way! Yay. Yeah, Ferengi from Deep Space Nine. Fuck yeah, yeah dude, that's amazing. That's Were those, those the dudes that ran the bar? Quark. With that oh, weird, I got to be in a scene with right? with uh, Armin Shimmerman in the. Uh, no movie. way! Yeah, How are you cool was that? Wow. I fucking love him. Oh my god! Remember when he's on Buffy and he played a goddamn yeah. the principal. Yeah. Oh my god! He's such a douchebag. Armin is like uh, the nicest person and the the most professional actors that I've actually worked with. So he's oh. a great actor. He yeah, really is. I think the film I did with him was called The Assassin's Apprentice Two. And uh, oh, oh my god, that would be a badass. Russ. Yeah, with Russ. Oh, Russ that is awesome. Yeah, that's that cool. is really awesome. And then that's how I that's how I met Tracy Coco, and we became buddies from oh, no that way. film. And then I said, Tracy, let's just work to keep working together. And all of a sudden, Alien Danger, you know, all these other oh, stuff. That's awesome. Nice. See, when you're a good person, and and you you know what I mean, doors will open for you. Yeah. Just and you genuine- and Tracy. And Al and G. Larry Butler and Ozzy, you're all such good people. And James Balsamo and just uh, Seth Doc, yeah. all of you just yeah. are such genuinely nice people and a lot of fun to party with at that Star Wars themed bar on Hollywood Boulevard. I told her you need to go to the, the Skull I gotta and go. You need yeah. to fucking go, Amy. You I know, I do. To I gotta bar. go. It's so much fun. <laughs> yep. Was that I the little, the little you big alien? Girl. Yeah. What's his name? Yeah. The the little bit the alien there, the little uh Yoda, like the was that Grogu? Grogu. He's yeah, sitting yeah. up oh, there Grogu. up by the fucking bar and shit. I'm just, oh. just laughing. I'm like, no way. Oh. <laughs> yeah, James knows how to uh plan a party. I, I I gotta say that. Dude, it is really awesome. Both of those, both of those nights were great, like just so much fun. Yeah, so much fun. It's That's a blast. Cool. Like this, people don't realize the things that you can find just like walking around places, right? Like Hollywood, just like you trip over something, you find some amazing bar, and you're like, "Where the fuck has this been this whole time?" <laughs> like, what? Okay, I need to go check this out, though. I know. <laughs> yeah. And then they have some Star Wars themed concoctions, like drinks and shit. Yeah, and they do. I think they're yeah, playing yeah. like some some Star Wars music and stuff like that. You know, like that. You know, the the aliens in the bar. Oh, they had like the yeah. blue milk, but it was alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. That was great. It's fun times, man. Fun times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping uh, that, uh, next year I can start getting back into full full um working with james hopefully by 2025 i kind of took a year off kind of for my own personal uh uh, healing resetting sometimes you need to yeah and and i i my last film was like a i think a year ago it was cursed waters with the mahals and then the strike happened so then the strike happened okay i just said oh this is kind of nice not working. I can actually go on vacation with my wife. We can actually do stuff. Wow. Yeah, the writer's strike. Yeah, right. Yeah. That was a big one. That was a big okay. one. I mean, it I did like two small bit parts, just kind of small stuff, but yeah. nothing big until I, I just came back on the scene this this month in June. This is my uh, okay. return to Hollywood. Nice. Kind of. Yeah. Wow. What are you working on now? Uh, so we're... Well, this just came out, Arena Wars. That was oh, I think I saw that. Right. That looks so good. I saw the trailer for it. Oh man. Yeah. We I think we shot it in twenty twenty one, and it just oh, was released okay. last month. And I can't oh. remember what my character was. I go, oh wait a minute, I play a doctor. I play the oh. evil doctor. Nice. Um, but. Wow. It, if you liked uh, Death Race, Gladiator, oh, Running yeah. Man, yes. oh, you're going to like this one. I think Dr. Giggles. No, I was kidding. <laughs> no, sorry. You remember that movie? Yeah. <laughs> that was stupid. Yeah, I play a doctor, and then you have the 
gladiators battling. It's in the future. Okay. Yeah. It, it was pretty cool. That looks. That sounds pretty badass. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah. What else? Uh, you got any projects that you're gonna be working on soon? I mean, in the sense of like, like going, like filming and shit. Do you have anything on on? I have one that's coming up. I I just got signed on to. Uh, oh, nice. With the with the Mahals, it's called Alien Horde. Ooh, Alien, Alien Horde. Horde. Yeah, yeah. it's basically. I, I think the world is at war with the, with aliens, and they've been okay. at war for such a long time, and it's kind of looks like uh, stormtroopers. That oh, okay. it looks like that, and different aliens of different races. I said, oh, I I, I got to be in this film. Oh hell yeah! That oh, yeah. sounds really good. That so sounds fun. We start. Uh, we've been crowdfunding. The Mahal's been crowdfunding, and uh, I think oh, okay. we start filming in September. I think. Sweet. Oh wow. Yeah. Sweet. So I'm excited for that one. Yeah, it sounds like it'd be really awesome, especially yeah. in the realm of of what you love, which is sci-fi. You know what I mean? So that that's a good fit for you. Yeah. Right. Uh, so nice. Tell people that like me who are not really actors actresses when you film movies and stuff is there like a warehouse you go to is it somebody's backyard like what what are we where do you guys do this at all of the above with so james balsamo the, yes no <laughs> if you're filming with james it's his house and backyard. it's his house in his backyard yeah yeah <laughs> but depending on the budget and the creativity you could be anywhere we we did some of the alien dangers in an escape room. Uh, we are at some uh, studio ranch uh, with a with a whole alien aircraft. Oh no, um, kidding! Oh my god, that would be the, badass. Oh, the, that's where you filmed that shit. Oh my yeah. god, that was. Oh my god, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, I did. I did a western horror film called. Uh, oops, I did a, a western horror film. It was it was in a ranch in my Palm Desert. Oh, way out there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Damn. And then the furthest I've traveled was uh, um, the little island off of uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, oh, shit. For the island, it was called Bermuda Island. So basically, oh, wow. an air airplane goes into the Bermuda Triangle, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, it's a horror film. So we shot some oh. of that in LA, but the main island shots were in. Uh, off this island in Puerto Rico. Oh, oh holy shit. wow! Yeah, and I think that's like during COVID. So I think that's been 2022. We had to have the masks. Oh. We had to have oh, all, the, yeah, all yeah, that yeah. protocols. It was crazy. Oh yeah. Ten times longer to film everything, or come yeah. up with a budget, or yeah, that that really hindered a lot of projects. Uh, both movies, television, and music wise in LA. Yeah. Yep. But so, it's in New York and, and, and Georgia, there are other places where people, like, they have like a big market for stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can film almost anywhere, Amy. It's, it's just, yeah. Yeah. Just have okay. a camera. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there look at go. Star Trek. They filmed that one scene way out in the desert on the rocks. Remember mm -hmm. that episode yeah. with, the, yeah. with them and they were walking off the rocks and shit? There's yeah. like, you just don't know. Like, you could use anything as a backdrop, anything as a as a set location. You just, it just has to fit into your vision of what you're trying to film. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So my, my first thing I look at now is how cold or how hot this location is going to be, and do uh, I want to be part of this film? <laughs> and that's how a much that's consideration. Me? That's good. How much are they paying me? Am are I they paying me for this my travel? <laughs> yeah, what am I wearing? Because I remember <laughs> we were filming in Vegas and it was like 120 degrees. I'm like, oh, oh my shit. god, I'm dying. Oh god. I had makeup on. Oh, that would suck. And you're filming outside, or was it inside with no air conditioning? It's, it was with James, <laughs> and we were filming uh, outside. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello, Ew. Jesus. Did he did he provide tons of water to his to his crew? <laughs> he did. He did. But it was just oh. hot. I think yeah. the movie was called uh, "You're Melting." 
Oh, okay. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> and we were literally melting. Melting. <laughs> yep, yep, that's hilarious. Yep. Too funny. <laughs> I love it. So you have your own uh, production company, right? Uh, your own film company? Uh-huh. Yeah. And it's really just, uh, I, I want to pick good movies with good scripts and good writing. Mm -hmm. that, and then things right. that I really want to be a part of. Uh, so... Okay. And, and I want to work with people that I really like working with, like with James or the Mahals. Russ, I love working with Russ. Um, okay. And I, I think that's kind of how I like to start things. It's, it's, it has to be a good story, right? Oh, yeah. yes, most definitely. To pull people into the film, like, and, you know, because it's got to be engaging. If it's exactly. not engaging, if it's not like thought provoking, or it's not whatever, like it depends on what kind of movie you're making. Obviously, you can be just totally stupid shit, you know, that people are gonna laugh at for years to come, like Carl Crew with Blood Diner. I mean, yeah. I mean, come on, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, it could be the dumbest shit ever, but if it's a cult classic and becomes a hit with people, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it depends on what level it speaks to them. But every movie is different in what message you're sending and, and what you want to convey. And exactly. are you just doing stupid ass fucking uh, horror or sci-fi or whatever, just dumb shit? Or are you or is it a serious script, like real subject matter that is, you know, has got a meaning or a message to it? Yeah. You know what's really funny is uh, working with James, Russ, and all the other directors has twisted my mind so much. I, I was just watching Shogun on TV and oh, like, oh, oh it's, it's okay, but we're missing some zombies. We're missing a vampire. I go, what could make it better? Zombies and vampires. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, yes. I mean, I it love Shogun, better. but it's kind of yes. like, we're missing something. <laughs> gotcha. I, I love like Train to Busan. It was, it was a, the the Japanese with all the zombies running after the main oh, character. Oh yeah, damn! Awesome. I forgot yes. about that one. And then, I uh, love that. Have you seen this uh, South Korean one, which is my second favorite? It's called Kingdom. So it's yeah, samurais right. back in the pre-dawn era of the dynasties, and that's okay. when the zombies zombies come and attack them against samurais. And yeah. archers. I'm like, oh my god! Dude, dude. I would love that. Oh. Like Abraham Lincoln, vampire Probably hunter. Slayer. Yeah. yeah, that movie. He did like he did what they did two of those President Lincoln movies where they was like a zombie hunter or he was a, a vampire killer or yeah. it's just fucking stupid, dude. I mean, what? think about that. President Abraham Lincoln fucking vampire, fighting the undead killer. and shit, and you're like. Right. Who the fuck comes up with this shit? But it's fucking a it's awesome. It's but awesome. That's what people yeah. don't people don't realize. They usually think, oh, this is fucking stupid. And then you're watching it and like, oh my god, this is awesome. Yeah. I love that type of stuff now. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like right? Blood Diner with Carl Crew. I'm just yeah. saying, like, that's that's the shit. Like, I mean, you know, all hails, you know, she tar. And I mean, come on, it's just awesome. I can never look at regular TV the same way now. Like, oh, it's missing this. Oh, <laughs> is that all? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Watching well, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. You know, you're like, right. no, it needs something more. I mean, no. <laughs> I think TV nowadays, are they're not original. We're doing a lot of repeats again. You know, yeah. version number two. I'm like, oh, ideas. Let's yeah. Let's try something new. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I like that when a show surprises you, like just out of the blue, right. like a different take on something, but it's reimagined in a really interesting and different way. Like Z Nation is completely different than, uh, you know, The Walking Dead. Yeah. Um, you know, like every franchise is a little different and they all have their own actors, their own storyline, their own everything. Yeah. And it's just whether or not is it going to captivate me and pull me in to where I'm going to keep wanting to watch this beyond the first episode. Have you Great. seen this movie? I just watched it last night for, I think, the fourth or fifth time. It's called Life. I think it was on Netflix. Mm. No, uh, not yet. So it's basically 
astronauts in the space station bring back a life form from Mars. And it's a oh. horror story. Oh. oh, that'd be badass. It was life pretty. Form. I'm like, oh my God, this is. I got to check that out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be badass. Okay. That'd be seriously scientists badass. do not bring back life forms to Earth. <laughs> that was like, that's the message. <laughs> Bottom line, don't, don't do that. Just don't do that. Yeah. Bad idea. Bad idea. Great film. I'm like, oh my god, this is this is really good. If people don't realize how amazing the creativity and the artistry is from other countries too. Like you were saying exactly. about you know, Korea or the Philippines exactly. or any of these places. There's so many countries out there that put out television shows and movies. Yeah. That. Americans don't give them a, the, a, a chance. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like, but maybe we're also not being exposed to those. Exactly. I think we're not That's being probably exposed. right there. Yeah. yeah. And I think you need to expose other cultures. Maybe, okay, maybe there, there has to be subtitles because it's not in, in English or whatever. Exactly. Uh, but there's so many movies out there from other cultures, you know, like Mexico or France or, you know, just other countries, you know? Yeah. You just don't know where you could find something fucking amazing. Yeah. South don't Korea, limit your Japan. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I just, I just exactly. started watching... Uh, horror films from the Philippines and I'm like shitty in my pants. I'm like, oh, this is scary shit. Oh, hell like, yeah. There's, there's this one, it's, it's black and white and it's on uh -huh. Netflix. It's called Eerie. And it's about like uh, okay. kids and this nunnery and it's just like evil. I'm like, oh my oh, god, this yeah. is so good. Fuck yeah. 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 I mean, The Ring originally started off in another country. Yep. And they and they different. remade it and brought it to America for the big screens here and, and did yeah. it different, you know. But there's so many other countries out there. Don't limit yourself, people. Like yeah. get out there, expose yourself yeah. to other cultures, other ways of thinking, because there's some amazing stuff out there. There is. It yeah. really is. And then homegrown. I, I mean, I, I keep talking about James, but I mean he'll take mm -hmm. it to the next level of craziness that you thought you mm -hmm. went crazy. He'll just take it to the next level each time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <I> crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I've heard, uh, what is it? G. Larry Butler said, uh, James Balsamo, it's like he pops a tab of acid and then just says, let's make a movie. Let's make a movie. <laughs> let's make a movie. <laughs> go out there and just like nuttiness ensues and you're like holy shit and then, and then you get to the end and, you, and you're like I had a lot of fun and then you go to watch the movie and you're like holy shit yeah <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine being the editor the person who edits these fucking things right like, exactly what the fuck is that like what did they just do <laughs> yeah <laughs> so many crazy stuff. And it's like each Sounds director like is different. Fun. Oh yeah. yeah, James working with James is a bunch of fun. And then you know you've got the you know Russ is very professional. You know mm -hmm. SAG oriented, follow the script okay. from A to Z. Um, okay. So I've gotcha. seen it all, and you know I like I'll, right. I like playing in both arenas. You know the professional and then the mm -hmm. craziness. You got, you got to have both. You got to be flexible. Yeah, it's nice to have yeah. that avenue to where it's not just one set style of something. Yeah, it's good to work with different types of of directors and you know what I mean. So, in different types of scripts, different kinds, of, you know, different types of people. It's just, I mean, who wants to just do the same thing over and over again? It's just right? boring. Yeah, the the Mahal one I did. I did my first Mahal film was Night of the Tommy Knockers. It's a western with a oh. monsters. And I got really? to play, I got to play a cowboy, an Asian cowboy, oh, in the badass. movie uh, with um, Richard Grieco and um, oh. Lozardo. Oh and my god, freaking Richard Grieco! Oh, I, I I was his sidekick. I'm like, how cool is that? I'm his sidekick, and I get to ride horses. Oh but, shit! You know, my character though, everyone had a gun except me. Uh -huh. I go. I'm I'm the Asian, but I had knives. That my expertise was throwing <laughs> knives, not shooting nice. a gun. Nice. 
Great. some nunchucks, some fucking no, no. like throwing just stars. Nine. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's just getting nine. their gun. Everyone's got their rifle. I'm like, where's my weapon? And here, here's Where? your knife. Where's my throwing stars? Where is something right? like pyramid? Like, come on now. I had the knife. But I was good Samurai with the knife. Sword, something. I could throw the knife. Yeah. I could kill a monster. That was with fun. just a knife, you poor with man. A knife. <laughs> Giant dinosaur creature comes at you. You got like a little pig sticker. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fun movie. That was the one where the ranch was in uh, Palm Desert, and it, it was uh, amazing. It I'm actually bad. snowed on set, so it was, it was done in the winter, what? and it was snowing. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's snowing. It uh, snowed in fucking California? California. It snowed California. down Palm in, uh, in the yeah. hell. It snowed. Huh. We have to learn how to ride horses. In the desert. Oh, wow. oh, you had oh, so you had to ride horses and stuff too, huh? Seriously, Did you to... know how to ride a horse before that? Zero. Oh, oh wow! How did you like that? It, it was an experience, but I don't think I would do it again. But it, you know, <laughs> you're you're trying to memorize your line, ride right. the horse, and mm -hmm. stay in the position where the camera wants you with all the other horses and your other characters. Oh so, shit! Like, oh oh shit! Oh shit! That, right. We have to come down, you know, like the old, the, the classic Western where they, they're coming into the, the empty town as a group. Mm -hmm. And then right. you have to veer off. You tell the horse to veer off. And then you oh, say okay. your line. And then you get off the horse. I'm like, oh, shit. This is crazy. <laughs> it's quite intense, it sounds and then like. We had, we had the galloping uh, thing. We have to like, okay, all the horses gallop because we have all the treasure. And they're like. I'm the one holding the treasure, and I have to ride my horse. <laughs> and and, and wow. a funny story is that the trainer goes, you know, all the horses are calm. Just don't get them scared. And my bag of gold money broke, and the horse heard it, got startled, and just took off. I'm like, oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, oh, my God. God. Were you on it? Wait, were I you on the it. horse? I was like, <laughs> God, just oh stay God. on the horse. Stay on the horse. Stay on the horse, yeah. stay on the horse. You're Please like, don't jump anything. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> die now. Holy shit. Like, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> I did like, fall I did fall off the horse once. Oh uh, damn. Okay. Yeah, Cause sucks. that was one of my uh uh my starting line was jump the horse, just like in you know the lone ranger. I'm like, what? Oh, okay, I got what? you. You can have this short Asian. Jump onto the horse. <laughs> so I, I did it. The, I I did it uh, the first time and I fell. And then they're oh, like, "Are oh, you okay?" Oh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Can you do it a second time? Sure, I'll try it again. And I actually made it the second time. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's fun. That's good. <laughs> that's fun. Nice. That was fun. Painful, but it was fun. That would have been awesome. Oh my god. Yeah, riding a horse is uh it can be quite painful if you're not used to it. You know what I mean? Like I, I did it the, I did it as a kid, but I don't remember it because I was little, you know what I mean? Because my sister had horses and then I did it as an adult and uh, I, I was pregnant and didn't know I was pregnant. Uh um, and then I and like I get I go I get off the horse later on. And I'm like, this fucking sucked. I really did not like this experience because it's like my ass hurt, my legs, my ass, everything just hurts, you know? Like, yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I think the last time I rode a horse, I was probably 16 as well. Like, we did a whole horse hiking trail thing. Oh, yeah, shit. that was fun. Yeah. Once is good enough. Yep, I'm done. Check it off the bucket list. Okay. Right. Get on the horse. Get... <laughs> Any other yeah. crazy shit that they've made you do? Yeah, you know, so I work with uh, Joe Kelly. Do you know Joe Kelly? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Joe Kelly. Clown Motel. And, yes, uh, I love Clown. Oh, yes, fuck yeah, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for Punchy the Clown. So that was my Punchy. first actual real stunt uh, as, a, oh, as an okay. actor. So... Uh -huh. Apparently, I was supposed to have this dummy that was supposed to look like supposed to look like me, but when they assembled it, uh -huh. it didn't look like me. So <laughs> he basically said, "Hey, Bill, can 
can you do this stunt for real? I'm like, are you kidding me? So the stunt is basically I'm beaten up, tied up uh, with chains on my feet. The chain is attached to a pickup truck, and I'm supposed to be dragged. The truck oh. drags me on the ground, on the gravel ground, oh, for like 50 feet. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so like, okay, I'll, I'll do it. And they had like the medics down there. They had the nurse oh, on damn. standby. They had, you know, the coordinators. And right. Like, oh, shit. And, yeah. uh, and the girl didn't know how to drive a truck. Uh. Oh, the, the, the actress oh. who was supposed to kill me didn't know how to drive a truck. And Joe goes, oh, only go five miles an hour. And like, oh, no. <laughs> and she didn't go five miles an hour. I think oh, they no. It was like like 15 miles an hour. She just gunned it. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm, ah! I'm screaming. Oh, my and God. I, but he was able Jesus. to get it in one take. I'm like, thank God, because oh. I didn't have enough left to do a second take. I bet that hurt like a motherfucker. Oh my god! Like, oh. Yeah, I had Damn. special gloves on. I had like card. The cardboard that I was sitting on was shredded. It was. It was just. I my bet. Face. I bet. Yeah. I bet she took off that fast like that. Yeah. Holy shit! Wow! Wow! <laughs> I got Joe, can you add that to my credits, stunt person? Yeah. Yes, totally. Yeah. Right? Like you've actually done. You've actually done stunts. There you go. There you go. So there you go, jumping on, on and off the, falling off the horse. The horse. There uh, you go. Horse you know what I mean? Being dragged down the road behind yeah. a vehicle. I mean, all that counts. Yeah, it all yeah. counts. Yeah. I'm like, I didn't sign up to be stunts, but I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. Let's do I, it. Did, right. I did stunts with James. I, I think it was uh, okay. a harness wire. So where they pull you up on the harness wire yeah. and you're like floating up and down and doing stuff. Oh, right. So that was part of the alien danger thing. So <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> like flying around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've had crazy. a blast. I, I've had a blast with just the short amount of time I've been in the industry. It, it, it's just been fun. And Al Burke said you haven't been doing this that long. I started in 2019. That's fucking crazy. That's really? Crazy. Five years, dude. That's amazing. Wow. And you and you and you've done that. Like you've done. Like you've been successful and and done several projects at this point. That's amazing. I've been, I've been so lucky to be blessed with great people to work with in the industry yes. and having Seriously. having a good time doing it. So. And winning. Yeah. Fuck tons of awards all around yeah. the world. Right? I don't care if it's in the high school gym award ceremony. That's cool, right? Yes. Right? It doesn't matter. An award is an award. Yep. Even if it's from, a, from the Girl Scout troop down the road. That's you know right. I mean? That's right. <laughs> someone, someone likes what they were watching. We sold all these cookies to fund your next movie, Bill. Oh, that would be cool, right? That would be cool. The Girl That'd Scouts be a horror film right movie. there. Girl Scout yes. horror film, right? Yes, dude. Seriously, that'd be awesome. There you go. <laughs> Don't tell James. There you go. Oh, <laughs> dude, no, <laughs> James, James, if you're watching, this is a badass fucking idea. You and Bill need to make it. It's a troop yeah. of Girl Scouts, and they go off the rails and hunt down somebody because they didn't pick up their cookie order. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What they owed them, <laughs> so they hunt yeah. them ruthlessly and maniacally. Girl I'm sorry, it's fucking funny. Little girls fucking Easy. hunting a motherfucker, you know, through the woods. Oh, yeah. yeah, like taking little crossbows and shit, setting people on fire. You know, some nutty shit. That'd be badass. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh yeah, it'd be good. James, if you're paying attention, I want a credit on the movie. <laughs> I am an executive producer. Just remember that. Anyway. <laughs> that would be a great idea, though. I've right. had a lot of great ideas for movies and shit. I always wanted to make. There's like I have so many ideas for TV shows and movies and other stuff. And I've always wanted to do so many things. And it's just, you know, it's kind of hard to do that now in Maine. But, I mean, Stephen King was an author here. I mean, maybe I could make movies. Yeah. I don't know. 
anything anything is possible. You know, I, I wanted to just write a good script, and then yeah. it was James who said, "Hey, let's let's do a couple of movies together." Like, are you kidding me? Me as an actor, and and I really Damn just right. wanted to write. So he gave me the writing chance, threw me in some cameos, and all of a sudden we're making movies. Crazy. That's, That's just amazing. Yeah. I, it's a great story, though, that you guys have, have been in the industry for a short time and have been very successful. Yeah, and that's wonderful. Right. And I'm I'm working hard oh, behind yeah. the scenes. And I'm still doing acting lessons. I'm just trying to make sure I'm I'm catching up so I can be on par with everybody else. That's wonderful. And you got good old G. Larry Butler as your mentor, helping you, teaching you, yeah. guiding you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're surrounded by good people. Yeah. G is yeah. a little crazy sometimes. He's so adventurous. You know, he'll do crazy things like jumping out of airplanes. Yeah, jumping out of fucking airplanes. He told us he climbed Count, Mount Kilimanjaro. I right. was like, dude. He's like like a risk taker. Like, you know, he did that. What was he? He was saying he was doing like the paragliding or the yep. like, uh the yeah. Like yeah. it was yeah. I, I've always wanted to be that person, but I've always I don't know. Like you get sometimes sometimes fear holds you back. He's, he's fearless. Always texting, he's texting me, okay, Bill, when you come down to LA again, let's go and jump in with the sharks. We'll do the shark cage. I'm like Oh right, yes. Right. He was talking about that. I'm like, gee, Larry, you know, crazy. About that. I don't care. I would do that too. I, I don't know why. That's something that wouldn't scare the crap out of me. I would love it. There'd be that one shark that jumps over the thing, right? Gets into your <laughs> box. Shark. That one shark. It just needs one shark. <laughs> it's another <laughs> movie idea. Okay. Look at that. Oh <laughs> but I'd do it. <laughs> I, you gotta I go that extra mile and put yeah. lasers on the shark's face, you know, heads and shit, yeah. you know. Can we get a second take on that? Let's, you know, can can we do? Uh... <laughs> can you die one more time? That? It'd be great. <laughs> what was that? What was that movie? Uh, what was that? Austin Powers and the fucking sharks had lasers on their fucking heads. Yeah, yeah. Some shit. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stupid. It's like Sharknado all over again. Rehash all the sharks. Oh my god! And I saw some dude made some movie nicknamed Catnado. I was like, Are you fucking shitting me? Oh, a Catnado. Cat. What cat in the Fuck. Okay. Tell I think you. I've seen it all now. <laughs> I think even like Winnie the Pooh has a horror movie coming out. Yes. Yes. Oh, Dude. Yeah. So did the, um, oh, what's some other ones? Oh, fuck. There's, uh, the ones that, uh, the ones from the seventies, they're like the, uh, the stay, the, the puffin, what do you call it? I don't remember what you call Puffin it. Stuff? It's the uh, yeah, like that type of a thing is one of them, like the characters oh. from those. And right, they did a horror that. movie with it. And I was like, What in the fuck is this? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, Pinocchio, I think, is a horror movie now, too. Yes. Right? Yes. Right. Yes. No, nothing is off the, the the craziness. Yeah. No, as it should not be. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why can't you take any, like, any idea and turn it into a horror movie or, or sci-fi or fantasy or whatever? There's right. so many different ways you could go with a story. Right? Right. That's all it takes. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to wrap things up, but can you please promote... Uh, we've been promoting the movies and things like that, of course. But where can people find you on social media and like IMDb and things like that? IMDb, it's uh, Bill Victor Rukan. Uh, Instagram, it's at Bill Rukan and at Alien Donut Films. On Facebook, it's also uh, Alien Donut Films and Bill Victor Rukan. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm going to be posting. Uh, I posted links earlier, but I'm going to post some more links. Hell yeah. I'm going to share some stuff. Biggest thing is support. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Uh, you know, you see, you see Bill out there doing his movies and promoting his stuff. Share a post. Like it. A heart that bitch. You know what I mean? Like, you know. You know, laugh at it because he's got some funny shit. Like, funny, very funny man. 
him and and James are just nutty as hell. And they're a lot of fun to hang out with too. So like just such good people. So we want to support and promote good people and what they're doing in the world and all the projects and the, and the crazy humor and the, just the awesome stuff that they do. So please promote and like, and share and follow and subscribe to their YouTube channels or IMDB pages or any of that type of stuff. You know what I mean? We need all the support we can for local uh, and worldwide, uh, you know, artists. So that's what this is all about today. Awesome. Thank I, you. I, we, want to, we want to thank you so much, Bill, for being on the show today. Yes, we really you so appreciate much. you for taking the time out of your busy day to talk to Amy and I and, well, Shia. Tyler, wherever he went, <laughs> he probably had issues with his with his uh, internet. You know what I mean? I think so he, he was for some that worked out. Or something but like that. we we thank you so much for being on the show. I know, thank you, right? Amy. Shit thank you, Jen. Yes. Thank you uh, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah. We had a blast. I had so much fun reminiscing with you and talking about you, all your projects. So we want to thank everybody out there for watching our show today. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to spend with us to learn a little bit more about Bill Victor Arukan and his craft. So please just check out, pick all of his stuff, go watch some movies, have a good time, eat some popcorn, you know, you know, <laughs> Fuck yeah. And Arena Wars is coming out. So go check it out. Hell yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll next week, uh, we'll be back. And as always, to have more fun and pro to you know promote more people. So thank you so much for watching Fear and Fascination, Horror, Sci-Fi, and Fantasy Unleashed. With your hostess with the most is Jennifer DeVoe Muse and the sultry songstress Amy Bowman. And, of course, the Mac Daddy of Metal, Shyler Staver. Until next week, peace out, stay safe, and be um, careful of orange people on television getting shot in the air. Anyway, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye.